Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing versatile dough that acts as a great base for sfiha, spinach pies, cheese, za'atar, you name it. It's a great fluffy light dough. Let me show you how I make it. Let's get started. Not only is this dough light, fluffy and versatile, but this is the kind of dough you can start working with it in less than one hour. So you're gonna start with 945 grams of all-purpose flour. I add one tablespoon of salt to the flour, mix it in, and then I'm gonna mix the instant yeast, two tablespoons of instant yeast, with one tablespoon of sugar and two cups of warm water. Mix them in, set them aside. And to the flour, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of instant dry milk, half a cup of vegetable oil, and you can absolutely use olive oil. I start adding the yeast sugar water mixture. It's bloomed nicely, and I'm using instant yeast for this recipe. I add the two whole cups. It's gonna take more than this, but I start with the two cups. The water should be on the warm side, just a touch warm. And if you don't have instant dry milk, you can add one and a half cups of warm milk instead of the powdered milk. And continue the rest with water, adding water. I'm gonna add an additional cup of water. All in all to seven cups of flour, you're gonna add about three cups of water. You want the dough to be on the loose side. I don't want the dough to be tough. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gonna look at the end. And as always, I'm gonna leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. And as you can see, I'm kneading the dough inside the bowl. It's much, much easier. And the dough is very loose and sticky. As you can see, this is the consistency it should be. I keep on kneading five to seven minutes. It's gonna be a workout. But honestly, I wouldn't do it any other way. I always like to feel the dough. I let it rest for an hour, covered, and start to make some fillings. And before I show you how to make some fillings, I wanna mention that the flour was seven cups, 136 grams per cup. I always like to measure my flour. Every flour is different. So I prefer if you use the grams. For the spinach filling, it's my most favorite. I use one pound of baby spinach. It's pre-washed, it's easy. I give it a rough chop and I add some spices to it in a large bowl, just like you see here. Cumin, allspice, sumac, salt, lemon juice, and olive oil. I add finely chopped sweet onion and finely chopped red onion. All the amounts and all the ingredients are always in the description box below, so check it out. As soon as you mix all the ingredients together, you're gonna see that the spinach is gonna start to wilt tremendously. The only thing you need to do is squeeze every little bit of juice out of the spinach. You don't want it to be soggy. So just set it aside for five to 10 minutes and then squeeze every little bit. It's gonna shrink a lot. It's gonna look something like this. Set it aside. This is a filling that's ready to use. Now I'm gonna start making the most amazing meat filling. And I'm telling you that because I've been experimenting for years and this is the most amazing recipe. It can't be beat. I have one pound of chuck and it has to be chuck beef with lots of fat in it. You're gonna add six to seven Roma tomatoes, sweet onion, red onion, parsley, jalapeno peppers, spicy red pepper, you're gonna spice it gently with black pepper, allspice, and a touch of cinnamon. I don't wanna overpower it with the spices. I add salt, of course, and three tablespoons of tomato paste, a quarter cup of pomegranate molasses, 
and this is where all the magic happens. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar or any kind of vinegar you have. Mix everything together nicely. And this is also the kind of filling that you need to strain. It has a lot of liquid from the tomatoes and you can't add it to the dough just yet. You need to strain it and you'll be amazed how much liquid will come out of it. Just set it in the strainer for half an hour before you can start working with it. Moving on to work with the dough. It's been resting for an hour. It has doubled in size. And for the sfiha or the meat pies, I'm going to use vegetable shortening. I'm not going to use butter because it's going to burn inside the pan. Just spread a generous amount of shortening inside the pan just like so. And this is how the dough looks like. It's very soft. I'm going to have to wet my hands with a little bit of vegetable oil before I can start working. I make some good size balls, spread inside the pan just like so. Set it aside and start on another tray. I'm gonna make four trays for this recipe. Adding some vegetable oil to your hand or olive oil will help tremendously spread the dough very quickly without sticking because this is the kind of dough that sticks a little bit. But it's going to be perfect, I promise. By the time you finish shaping the last tray, the first tray will be ready and well rested. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. As you can see, it's spreading very easily. It spreads like butter. And the vegetable shortening will keep it from sticking to the pan when it baked. See how easily it spreads. I do my best and I'm going to add a generous amount of the filling and I mean a generous amount because it's going to shrink when it's baked. Spread it evenly and make it as big as possible, as thin as possible. The proof will be in the pudding. These are going to be the tastiest things ever. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so and follow me on social media. I always leave the links in the description box below. Now let's talk some finishing touches. I'm going to add some pine nuts on top, a touch of butter on top of each one, just a touch and maybe a sprinkle of black pepper. I'm going to set them aside, let them rise one last time for about half an hour before I put them in the oven. And meanwhile, work on the spinach pies. The only different thing about the spinach pies is the way you're going to fold them. And at the bottom of the pan, I'm not going to add vegetable shortening. I'm going to add olive oil and make sure you add a good extra version olive oil. A generous amount, about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons, spread it evenly in the pan, add a generous amount of the filling and shape it the way you like. I like to shape it like this in a triangle. This is the traditional way of shaping it, but you can do whatever you like. So you're going to want to let it rest for another half an hour before you bake. Or just when the oven is heating, it's going to rest a little bit. A well-rested dough is the most amazing dough, but you don't want to leave it too long. I want to bake these at 485 degrees Fahrenheit. I preheat the oven. And after the spinach pies are rested, they might have a tendency to open a little bit. You might want to make sure they're closed tightly before you place in the oven. Upper and lower oven should be on. I don't like to go by time. I like to go by color. When they're golden, you can take them out a little earlier. If you don't like them to be crispy, you can take them out a little later if you like them crispy. You know your dough is successful when it doesn't stick to the pan at all. 
The consistency of the dough is perfect when it comes out of the pan just like so, easily and quickly. If it sticks to the pan a lot or a little, that means you added too much water to the dough. Next time you can fix it. There was a little bit of extra dough that I added some cheese and olives on top of it. And it's amazing. It's my kid's favorite. I usually add a mix of panela cheese and halloumi cheese. They're a nice combination. You can also make some za'atar pies with this dough. Everything is out of the oven. The spinach pies, the meat pies or sfiha, the cheese pies, they all smell amazing. And the dough is so, so good, light and fluffy. The filling is perfect. I hope you give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. It's such a treat for the whole family. And until next time, bon appétit!